Hey, good morning everybody. This is Ed over Team Aquascape. Today's gonna be a little bit of a different day. We're not always out building. We have a steady stream of customers coming in, asking for our services, but we have to go through a process. We have to design, we have to get out there, we have to talk to people. These are gonna take us on residential projects and some are gonna be on commercial. I typically go out for more of the commercial stuff. It's a slower, longer process. If they have a problem, figuring out the budgets, dealing with the architects and the engineers and all those different little pieces and parts that are actually all have to come together before we could actually do a project. So this is some of the behind the scenes stuff that you might not always see, but it's what allows us to do what we do, which is designing and building water features on a daily basis. I am in Rockford, Illinois, and I am actually at Nicholas Conservatory. This is a location that I bid on a water feature project here more than a decade ago, and I just got a call the other day saying they're having troubles. Obviously, we didn't end up building it. I'm gonna go on in and take a look at what they have going on here. That's the Rock River right there. That water is getting really, really high on the banks and we've been inundated with a lot of rain. All that rain just turned into instant runoff which is causing problems and this beautiful conservatory is right on the edge of the river. So they have some flooding issues. So I'm gonna try to hook up with Doug, our contact here, see what we can do to assist them on their mission to get this water feature back operating properly. Here's the lead uh, gold facility. You can see some of the solar panels over here. We got the main conservatory in the back, water features on the other side. Permeable pavement over here. We got a little bioswale coming along this side. So it's great to see all these different treatment things being taken into consideration here. And then there's the Rock River on the other side, which is, you said 14 feet above well, it's normal. Uh, normal is normal is seven, it's 14, 14 four now. So it's wow. about 7.4 above. Okay, incredible. Now here we are inside the conservatory. You can see you got all the plants over on that side side and then we got Doug over here just explaining some of the stuff we have three pumps that are taking care of the feature outside these are the sand filters which is where we're having a little bit of a problem and then this is some of the distribution piping that we have so there is a lot of stuff happening here each one of these goes to one of those different locations UV filter up on top this big pump feeds the infinity pond okay now check out the beautiful healthy koi in here this is pretty sweet but here's inside of the conservatory, which is gorgeous. Look at all the streams and rivers and everything kind of flowing around here. But what I'm gonna show is this side. This is the infinity pool. This terminates right here at this edge. On the other side of the glass is the infinity pool, which is the pumps down in the equipment room over there that I was just showing. Piping comes over here, discharges water on the other side of the glass. You can kind of see a faint line on the, on the other side. That's another waterfall that, that flows out. And you can see a bridge on the other side, which goes into that lagoon. So when everything is operating, everything just flows seamlessly and it looks beautiful. All right, so here we are outside of the conservatory. The main pond over there where the infinity edge goes into is right over in here, but we have this beautiful stream system coming through and we are looking for potential areas for the wetland filtration. And I think this might be our best spot over here. So this is kind of a blank wall. They have a little bit of a bubbler action right here with that little waterfall. So we could easily adapt a wetland filter into that edge in order to make this function. Now all of this, we have all these little streams and things kind of twisting and turning around. So all of this is connected. Waterfall over on this side, and then you have the massive waterfall cascade over here. And then you have the main road up on the back side. So a little bit of a challenge just because of access, but uh, definitely fixable. Great overview of the whole conservatory. Just look at all this beautiful streams, waterfalls twisting and turning the way around the area that we were looking at outdoors. It's right outside this wall over here. Now Doug's taking me out. We're gonna go take a look at their green roof as well. And because it is a lead facility, oh, look at that. That is awesome. You have beehives up here? Yep. Beautiful. And you have the view of the flooded river. <laughs> Here's all the solar panels. Yeah, what a really unique design. Natural yeah, lighting coming in. Wow. So here is the lagoon area. Beautiful little park right along the Rock River over here. This is that 
the infinity pool. So I was standing inside of that building there, looking out. When this is operational, you can see water kind of bubbling up over here out of that pipe. It's gonna fall over this little waterfall into this little pooling area. This gets recirculated. These are not connected. Uh, right now, I think they are just because the water level is so high but uh, we have all the streams and waterfalls coming along the entire back of this. It's a really neat little garden space. It is winter time right now. Everything's kind of not looking great, but I could imagine what this looks like during the summer. It looks spectacular. I'm here with uh, Josh Duffy and we also have our crane guy over here in the background. What we had to do today was we had to pull out one of these big basalt columns. There was a crack fitting all the way on the very bottom. Problem is we had no way to get to it. Uh, so what we did was we had to get the crane, sit it out in the parking lot because we didn't want to destroy all this other stuff to come in here with a mini excavator, which is how that was originally set. We got the crane out in position, lifted that rock, and now I'm going to show you exactly what we had to do to fix this thing. All right, so Josh is uh, precariously stuck in this little spot over here. We have our pump vault. We have the small basalt, which has this little kink-free pipe coming in here. We have our pump down in the bottom. Actually, what size pump is that? A Surumi 5PL pump. Then we have this little manifold over here. And then we have a series of those little valves so we could adjust water into each one of these columns. So what we did was we had to run a new plumbing for this one, and then we also had to get a new one in for that big guy. So the nice thing was when we designed this, this is actually, I believe, a 3,000 gallon reservoir. So underneath this entire patio here, this is all a permeable patio. So we're taking water from the roof over here and over here. We have a couple uh, downspout filters over here to pre-filter some of that water. The water is going to come into that permeable patio and this is actually i think five feet deep so this original system is all the way out over here we have a huge rubber liner in all this this is part of the stormwater management plan for this particular project hopefully we will have it running shortly we just have to do some a uh, little bit of plumbing and we have to take all that gravel put it back into the excavation uh, and then we should have that fountain running all right this project's a wrap uh we're over at living well over in geneva illinois this is a uh, cancer facility. They're always doing treatments uh, in and around this facility. So uh, we have a series of water features. This is at the main entrance. We have another waterfall in the back and then we have a big pond over on the other side. So we have multiple features here just to create that soothing sight and sound of uh, flowing water. So it actually creates a really neat effect here. This is the entryway as you come in and you're greeted with the sights and sounds of that fountain system. So hopefully you enjoyed it. I am down in southern Indiana, just on the other side of the river from Louisville, Kentucky. And uh, I was brought in by a developer to kind of evaluate problematic pond. So this is the pond that they have behind me, which actually is pretty spectacular. They've done some incredible stuff. I love the overall design and everything that they have here, but they have a few challenges and problems with it. And I'm gonna walk through some of those things with you here so you can understand a little bit of what about what's happening here. And hopefully we can come up with a solution. All of this rock that you're seeing here was blasted from the site. So this is all natural bedrock over here. So all of this stone came from the bottom of this pond. They put in a EPDM rubber liner down in the bottom and the liner stops basically right here and then they brought in clay over the top of it. The idea though is the water level 
supposed to be way up here. This area here, the reason they didn't do the lining was they brought in a bunch of compacted clay to hold the water in place. And then this is going to get planted up with different types of aquatic vegetation. So marginal aquatics creating a very unique littoral zone. Problem, doesn't hold water where it's supposed to. They want me to come up with a plan for them to fix this, which is actually kind of straightforward. You have to get the liner from here all the way up to here where it's supposed to be. Challenge is, this is a five acre lake. We have thousands of feet of shoreline. We have thousands of tons of stone. All of this stuff has to be removed, heal back all of the soil, expose everything down to the original rubber liner, seam another piece of liner up into here, and then reinstall all this stuff, and then plant it with aquatic vegetation. Relatively simple. The challenge is the scale. Other challenges that we have here on the project, pathways. A lot of this stuff will be destroyed just because we're gonna have to get some pretty big serious equipment in here to remove material. There is irrigation in here, It'll be destroyed. This is actually an island over here. So you got a couple bridge crossings going to it. To get to those stones, we're actually gonna have to probably make a roadway going across this body of water. They have yet to see the waterfalls operating and that's because there's not enough water in the pond to supply the pumps with the necessary water. Another waterfall located in that corner. There's a fountain over here in the middle, and then there's another waterfall located at the far end. So they've really done a good job of kind of laying everything out. It is my job as the uh, consultant, I guess, out here on the job site to come up with that plan for them. They would love to go directly through us. They do have a board. They do have some flexibility with how they kind of structure everything, but uh, these are things that we have to discuss. So right now, uh, I'm just gonna come up with a plan for them, and then we're gonna put in some pricing to actually fix all this stuff. So it's gonna be a unique one, that's for darn sure. Hey, I hope you like this day today. If you enjoy it, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts, and we'll see you soon.